Hey yo, welcome back to another video. It's your boy E J NBR VJ man. Never been funny, ain't nothing before my family man. We out to uh, I'm on the road right now. I'm headed to Little Rock to my city to take my nephew. Uh, we'll, we'll tail back to the crib man. You know, we got business and stuff like that to do in Little Rock, and I'm finna go see my daughter. We finna go shopping, school shopping, get her you know get her together for school man. This video is because uh, I, I received a couple, a couple, uh, uh, a couple voicemails, man. And maybe I should play the voicemails all out. This is, uh, this is almost crazy. I deleted the voicemails, but I think you can go back and look at the ones you deleted. Hopefully, I can look at the ones I deleted. So I'll let y'all hear what somebody. Uh, let me see. Oh, we still there. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all hear this, man. This was somebody. Listen. This guy wrote me months ago, over a month ago, talking about dogs and da 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 and shipping, and then he went ghost about two weeks, then hit me up again, and talking about he got shot and all that type of stuff. And I'm talking about, listen, bro, your story is your story. Whatever happened in your life is your life. Cool. You want to share, my nigga? Share your story. Cool, man. But listen, man, those problems is your problem. I'm not, listen, this is a business, brother. You know what I'm saying? Before I play the video, <laughs> before I play the video, man, this is a business. Understand what I'm saying? This is a business, brother. No, this ain't no street nothing. This ain't, I'm not selling drugs on the internet, brother. I sell dogs, man. This is a business, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, people get in their feelings when they get blocked. And, um, you know, listen, man, this is a business, man. This is just what it is. Sometimes you get blocked, man. Listen. <laughs> hey, yo, this dude sent me a long emotional ass message. First off, he mentioned in the thing that I did some emotional stuff by blocking him. But understand, this is a business. If you tell me you're going to send some money at 8 o'clock, don't hit me up at 9 a.m., bro. And then don't hit me up at 2 p.m. I don't care about none of that. If you say you're going to do something as a man, stand on what you're going to do. If I say I'm going to do something, I do it. That is men. Men, even, period. I'm not even going to put this just on, on the men. If you say you're going to do something, do it. I don't ask you guys for, I don't ask none of y'all for no money. I've never hit none of y'all up asking y'all for no money. I never hit nobody up asking them to send no money. I've never contacted somebody about buying a dog from me understand that understand that first understand that first so before anybody think that they could tell me anything about anything understand that y'all contacting me do not con listen i told you months ago hit me up do not inquire about a dog until you have your money together what is the point of inquiring about a dog if you don't have no money you don't have your money together what's the point everything you need to know i put it in the video this is the reason why i say what i say in the videos to avoid pointless conversations now like i said if you want to call and check on me because you're a super fan cool i love fans i love it i love it i love fans because i treat some you know i treat y'all right family because i love y'all i tell y'all i love y'all every time i end the videos and i tell y'all i love y'all every day and sometimes People that contact me, I tell them I love them. Like my brother TJ, my brother Jerome, my brother Anthony. You know, people that contact me on the regular, you know what I'm saying? And Centauria, like, these are people who are becoming my friends outside of the dog shit. These are people that are coming or have became my friends, great people. And I would have never met them without this YouTube shit, so I do appreciate that. So if that's what you are on, you just want to be my friend, then you could have just been my friend, but do not contact me over and over again telling me you're going to send money on certain days and nothing happens. Don't tell me you're going to send money on certain times and nothing happens. See, that shit like that gets you blocked. And, and, and be mad about it, brother. Be mad. Whatever it is, be mad. It's not you being mad. It's not my problem. I am, this, this video is not just to you, this is to over like 70, 80 people that's blocked. Really, I just went through currently and unblocked everybody. Um, so if I do get contacted again, I can re-block you. It's just gonna make me feel good to see a message come through and you to see that it got delivered and then I can block you again. So this, uh, everybody's been unblocked right now. Everybody's unblocked. And if you send me, a, if anybody send me a message, 
inquiring about a dog without the money, I'm going to re-block you. And this is going to hurt your feelings even more, okay? This is going to make you get in your feelings more. Maybe you're going to send some more voicemail. Maybe maybe this, maybe this, you're going to entertain me for the day, okay? So I, I'm all for the entertainment. Um, I appreciate it. I was, I'm actually on the road. I got seven hours. I got five hours to go. I've been on the road for two hours. And um, quite frankly, you know, driving is kind of boring. What y'all understand is driving... It's like watching paint dry. You're just on the road and just it makes you sleepy and all that. So to 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 get voicemails, appear entertainment, it, it it wakes me up. It makes me more alert. And uh, it's entertainment, man. Um, if I knew that blocking retards, you know, would would entertain me this much, I would have blocked you two, three weeks ago when I told you stop inquiring about a dog if you don't have the money. My bad. My bad, my bad. Phone got overheated. Uh, I was running GPS on this one. I'm just gonna run a GPS on my other phone. You know what I'm saying? On my business phone where I block people. I'm gonna run it on that one. But uh, I don't know where the video left off and I don't wanna go check it. So I'm just gonna repeat what I said again. Cause uh, you know, more watch time. I know y'all know gonna watch the video cause y'all love me. And I love y'all, so you know, I appreciate the watch time. We're going, uh, let me see. Yeah, five hours and six minutes. Okay. All right. So we got the GPS going on this phone. So now I can just, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to play what he said, too. So listen, before we get to that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so listen. I could have bought you weeks ago when you inquired about a dog. You had me hit up shippers. I just got, a guy had me hit up shippers all this type of stuff saying he's ready for the send this i'm talking about the shipper even put us in a group message and all type i'm talking about it was just a mess man listen i don't like wasting people's time it's one thing you waste my time but then when i include my shippers then you wasting their time and it's just that's just a lot bro so i dealt with that weeks ago and then he told me he got shot and I almost died and he, he stitches and coming up with all these different stories which is whatever happens man I'm happy, I'm happy you're alive, or happy anybody alive, happy people that, you know, survive what they survive and all that. But, um, then hit me up again and, you know, and been talking, blowing my phone up for messages. I don't know what dog I'm gonna get. I, all that stuff is on you, man. Now, if you wanna just talk on some super fan stuff, cool, man. Just, you being weird, bro. Just, just keep it a little, you know. Man, just, I'm talking about, anyway. I appreciate the entertainment. If anybody else want to call me and leave me a crazy voice message, please do. Um, you give me content to make a video about. Also, you're entertaining me while I'm on this road trip because I have five hours to go. And if you want to entertain me, just do it. You know, if you want to be really emotional and in your feelings, just do it. Just send me the messages, the voicemail. I will listen to it. I will listen to it. And I might make a video about it, you know what I'm saying? And I might be entertained. You might make me laugh a little bit. And I, I can appreciate that. So I will I will say thank you, sir, for, for the entertainment, um, the content. And I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to let y'all hear what he said. I heard a little bit, but um, I don't know. I'm in a car. I had the music playing when it was playing. So I just kind of heard a little bit. So we kind of hearing this together. But he sounds emotional. He sounds very, 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 very emotional. Sounds like um, I hurt his feelings, which, um, you know, sometimes you need the feelings hurt to grow up. You need to grow up, sir. Let me see. Okay. I got to figure out how to put this on the speaker. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on y'all. Hold on. I'm trying to get y'all to hear this. How can I? Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to put it on the on the on the car so we can have it loud. I want y'all to hear everything he's saying because I can't. I honestly didn't hear what he said for, but I did hear a little bit. I heard a little bit. It sounded very emotional. I couldn't make out what he was saying. It's hard to hear people when they cry. I don't know. Maybe he was like literally crying during the video. I'm not sure. Not sure. Not sure. Whatever the case may be, man. Um, 
hope he get his life together. We're going to definitely try to, uh, dang it, bro. My, all right, so it's not working. Car thing not working. Uh, man, how can I listen to this nonsense? Okay, I'm just going to put it up. I didn't contact you to buy my dog. What do you mean you could have told me you didn't want the dog? Why are you contacting me? All right, let's just listen to the rest. I don't understand why. You, how are you going to contact me to buy a dog and then... I don't understand. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Let's just finish listening to what he's saying. He's saying like he's, you know, how he's trying to tell us just how you really feel. I don't think. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. My bad, y'all. I'm trying to get to it. Hold on. I started off from the beginning. I'm not gonna interrupt this time. We're gonna play both of them through and then I'll address whatever he said afterwards. They don't do emotions, whatever that means. Okay, you're right. Say any of that. You never had to explain yourself, those points. People get shot every day, B. Shoes cost more at the housing, your jeans, your shoes, jeans, okay. What is happening? I keep, I keep pressing stuff, y'all. I'm just gonna let y'all hear it, y'all just took a long time.
you know what I mean? I was going to leave this alone, but I'm like, damn, man, I showed this pussy a lot of respect, man. <laughs> He said a lot in it. And we're going to, he gave me two voicemails, y'all, not just one. It's intense. It's just the second one. Yeah, I don't Suck a dick and die pussy. Suck a dick and die pussy. Suck a dick and die pussy. The nigga that got shot, that survived gun wounds, telling me suck a dick and die. I leak my lips. I got long hair, so I'm gay. Uh, I'll be gay, my brother. Whatever you say, whatever you say, I'll be gay. I'm going to keep licking these motherfuckers, man. And I'm a sex-ass nigga, man. You watching me on TV, bro. I don't watch you. I don't know what you look like. You watching me, bro. You the one watching me. You the one contacting me, blowing my phone and telling me I didn't ask about your story, dog. I don't ask about. I don't ask nobody about their story, dog. I do not ask nobody about their story. I don't give a fuck what these niggas, what you go through, bro. We all go through shit, nigga. Now, if you want to just be on some friend shit, contacting me on some. Yeah, yeah, fan ass shit, then cool, my nigga. Stop asking me about my motherfucking dogs and about trying to buy dogs and I'm gonna send money. You ain't have to never do that, gang. There's niggas, there's people that contact me every day that never bring up about buying my dog, nigga, and we talk, nigga. We talk for hours, nigga. And I don't do no texting, nigga. You see, I barely text your weak ass back, nigga. I don't do no texting, nigga. I ain't no texting ass, nigga. What grown ass man sit up and send niggas paragraphs and paragraphs of text messages, nigga, over and over and over again? The fuck, nigga? I don't gotta talk to you, nigga. I owe you shit, nigga. Tell this shit to a motherfucking therapist. Do I like a, a licensed therapist to you, nigga? Do I like a licensed therapist to you, nigga? I ain't no licensed therapist, nigga. Now you wanna be on some friendly shit, nigga? Cool. Stop asking about my motherfucking dollars. I don't give a fuck what type of shoes you got, nigga. You don't got more money than me, gang. You don't got more shoes than me. You don't got more clothes than you. Bro, you. The shit I po the shit I wear, dog. The shit I wear, dog, is for YouTube, dog. I'm on here with dogs, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bro. I got all that shit you talking about too, and I, that shit don't matter. None of that shit, anything. You don't want on this bitch asking for five hundred dollar deals, and I'm gonna send this money on this day and this money on that day. I ain't ask you to send shit on no day, nigga. You dumb nigga. It all, it's always you dumb niggas that. Just a, you just a dumb nigga. You a weak ass nigga. You a weak minded nigga. I ain't never asked you for nothing, nigga. I ain't never contacted none of you niggas and asked you to send me no money, nigga. The fuck wrong with you, boy? You a little boy, emotional boy. You a kid. You a kid. You a kid. is a kid, you's a little boy, little boy, emotional little crybaby boy, I don't know why you got shot, brother, but if it had anything to do with your mouth, then it all lines up, bro, and you need to change, bro, before you die, you need to change before you die, it's not okay to, to be online talking about it ain't, I mean, not only even online, I don't care to call people phone, bro, and leave voice messages like that, but what made you think, after you said what you said on my voicemail, to press send? What made you think that that was okay, bro? Who taught you that you can talk to another man like that, bro? If I was in your area, bro, you would have to, listen, bro, 
Okay, listen to this. Don't contact me again, gang. You don't know me. You don't know me, bro. I put 10-minute videos up every now and then, bro. You do not know me, bro. You don't know me, bro. And that's a good thing you don't know me, bro. Because if you did, you wouldn't even think to even do nothing crazy that you did as leaving me a voice message, bro. If you knew me, you wouldn't have never did that. If you knew me, you wouldn't have never did that. If you knew anything about me. Listen, bro. Look, look at how I live, dog. I just started selling dogs this year, bro. Look at how I live. I just started selling dogs this year. I just sold a dog this year. And look how I live. Go on the knees, go back through the YouTube and just look. Go back and look. Ronnie lived in three different states in three different years. I got plenty of shit. I got our own houses. Look up NBF Realty Estate LLC. Look it up. It's a real thing. I own homes. Multiple homes, brother. You is tripping. You is tripping. What made you think you can get on my phone and send me a voicemail because I blocked you, bro? I should have been blocked you. I should have blocked you way before you got shot. I should have blocked you when you didn't have your money to get after blowing my phone up and making me hit up shippers. I should have blocked you then. I gave you a second chance, a third and fourth chance. Every day you say you're gonna send something, it doesn't happen. And oh, brother, my bad, I got this. My girlfriend got this. I don't got cash out. I don't got. I, I got the money in my pocket. I got a thousand dollars in my pocket. I just need to, bro. I don't care what you got in your pocket. I never asked you these questions, bro. And I never asked you to send money on a day. You the one did that, bro. You the one said I'm gonna send money on this day, bro. You the one said I'm gonna send money on this time, bro. And you didn't do that, bro. Stand up, man. Stand on their word. You didn't stand on your word. And I don't care about excuses, brother. Just like I teach my nephews, my little cousins. I got young people around me, bro, that I've been teaching. I teach them how to be a man. And the first thing, the first thing, the first thing you learn when you becoming a man or when you learn from a man is to stand on your word. If you're not going to do something, don't say you're going to do it. If you, if you can't hold up to your word, just don't say nothing. If you can't stick to what you're going to say, then don't say nothing. Nobody cares about excuses. I don't care why you couldn't send the money. I don't care what something happened that you couldn't send. I do not care. That means nothing to me because first off, I didn't ask you, brother. I didn't, I didn't contact you. I ain't contact you, gang. You hit me. I, can you imagine me calling Walmart? Tell me I'm gonna place an order in. They're like, okay, why are you calling me tomorrow? You gonna place the order? Just place the order. No, I'm, I'm gonna place it tomorrow at five. I'm gonna place it tomorrow. I'm, okay. Why are you telling me? Just do it, bro. If you're gonna do it, do it. And then you call them the next day after. Oh yeah, my bad. I couldn't place tomorrow at five. At five, I'ma just uh, I'ma do it Tuesday at four at three a.m. I, I gotta wait till my deposit. I, I got you, bro. Uh, uh, bro, my bad. Thanks for messing with me. I got you, bro. I you know a nigga be going through this. My mama. I ain't asking you for none of that, gang. Why are you telling me all this stuff? I ain't asked you to send it on no time. I never told you the deadline, bro, bro. I, Listen, bro, I'm not in my feelings. I'm just trying to help you out. If you don't learn anything from me, learn this, bro. If you gonna, if you say you're going to do something, do it, bro. If you can't do it, don't say you're going to do it. And just keep it simple, bro. Like, I still love you, bro. I still love you. And I still wish well on you, bro. And I hope that you learn something from this experience that you have with me. And don't ever leave nobody no voicemail, bro, telling you hope they die, bro. I don't know who raised you, bro, or, or what happened in your childhood, or whatever you think that that was okay to do, bro. That wasn't okay to do, bro. Now, what if I came out there, bro? You, you the one, you the one trying to get, trying to get cash deals and stuff, bro. What if I came and found you, bro, and did something to you, bro? And what, what if I just came out there? I'm the one with the money, bro. You the one talking about physical therapy and got stitches. What if I came and put some more holes in you, bro? Hey, why, why would you ever think you don't know me, bro? You don't know me, bro. You don't know me, dog. You don't know me, bro. Please act like you don't know me, bro. When you don't know somebody, don't, you don't say stuff like that, bro. When you don't know somebody, you don't you don't know people, bro. You don't know me, bro. I can literally get off the internet, bro, and go get on the plane and come find you, dude. I can I got the money to find you, bro. I got the money to find you. You don't got the money to find me.
Hope you learn from this situation, bro. And don't ever say you're gonna do something, don't do it. Nobody cares about the excuses. That's like my rent, me telling my rent guy, I'm gonna have the money on the first, and he come the second. I told him I couldn't have it on the first, but I'm gonna have it on the third, and he come the third. And the rent dude, hey bro, why are you telling me this? You just gonna pay me or you gonna get out? I hope you get what I'm saying. I, I'm, I feel like I'm having to break this down like a lot. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm having to over break this down. And for those that get it, you get it. For those that don't, I wish you well. I love y'all. I'm gonna upload this video. And I'm just, I just wanna tell you, bro, you embarrass yourself, bro. You embarrass yourself. That's sickening, bro. What is wrong with me?